Brian, what's going on here being Q this morning? Yeah, Paul, uh, this morning we've uh, been called here uh, as we're investigating a burglary which has been committed overnight. Um, basically, it comprises of uh, a significant amount of cash that's been taken off the premises. I don't really have a lot more information to uh, give at the moment. We're in the initial stages, but we do have a number of officers here uh, at B&Q. Um, with the utmost cooperation of the management here, and the store has uh, been shut for a good part of the morning, so we can just start looking uh, at things forensically here. Uh, and we're hoping to get things uh, moving as soon as we can, so uh, the store can be back to business as soon as possible. So a significant amount of money taken overnight? Yes, that's correct. And I'm, I'm getting reports that the night staff are still on the premises? Yes, that's that. correct. Yeah, we're speaking to the night staff to see if they can uh, give us any information that can give us any leads on how we can progress the investigation. So how are you treating this now? I mean, what sort of period is it you like to be keeping the, the, the store closed? Well, we're looking at um, forensically uh, evaluating the, the, the premises. That's ongoing at the moment. It's very difficult to say when we finish. But in business, we'll probably uh, conclude that stage within the next hour so B&Q can get open for business. And as I say, we're quite grateful for the cooperation of B&Q for allowing us to continue to do this. But obviously, that's in everybody's interest so we can get the best investigative opportunities as we can do this morning. Are you looking for anybody externally to do with this there? It's far too early to say, Paul, at the moment, but we're, we're working on it as best we can do. Hopefully we might know a little bit more later, but we really want to just uh, uh, handle matters at the scene as best we can and re-evaluate it as information comes in.